now as we saw in last video that uh, what all the core image uh, yocto is providing so today we will see the difference between core image full command line and the minimal as a reference so similarly like i did uh, previously i made uh, environment file out of that image using a hyphen e and put that in one file so now let's uh, see the difference between these two images So here the combined features is the same, just the order is different. Here let's see the description of uh, full command line, what it provides. So it is a similar, uh, similar like a core image base, it's a console only image, but it has more fully featured Linux system functionality installed. So what it is installing that we will see later. Here if you see the feature install contains t slash and package group core ssh and open ssh. So as compared to core image base it has this open ssh extra. So let's see that uh, recipe file. So this is the recipe file and what it provides is it provides this uh, SSH client server uh, tool called OpenSSH. So this is how it is adding that uh, as a part of your image. So instead of adding just uh, this, uh, you can use this package group as well. So what all the changes will be added as a part of the image by Yocto or Poki in Poki that will also include if you use it that way. Let's move to the next difference. Here also you can see that image features contains uh, SSH uh, server open SSH and splash. Here the main difference is uh, mentioned here. In image install, you can see the package group core boot is there at both sides in the kernel modules and drop bar. But here, what uh, extra option is this package group core full command line? So now let's see that uh, what that uh, recipe provides. Here, this is the recipe for that. All the package group recipes are a part of this uh, package group directory one can explore in uh, each and every recipe core extended or something like that it will be present so here it is a standard fully featured linux system that is a summary it provides a number of tools if you see this uh, package group provides uh, this number of package groups it has each and every uh, packages uh, and they are divided in some groups so here utils lips init scripts uh, these are the tools which are added if we see each and every package group inside this you see glibs is there bash core utils file command mc grep tar is also there time command so there are number of commands which are as part of that uh, command line utils in uh, command line extended you'll see some networking tools for development purposes uh, we have make patch m4 as a part of init scripts we have init manager login manager syslog Furthermore, we have some uh, the 
decompressing tools like vzip tool gzip also we have sudo shadow so all the things will be provided as a part of core full command line instead of adding those things separately in your core image minimal one can use this image directly and this will give you all the required command line utilities in your image let's move ahead here it will provide your provide you with the great britain uh, locales as well and uh, us one as well here one difference you can see is the root fs size is now extended previously in core image minimal as the image is just for uh, booting purposes uh, its size was 8 8k here it's a 65 as uh, we are going to install a number of tools in the image yeah here you can see the locales are added us and gb You can see the same thing in the, the R depends. So whatever way you apply, that uh, that will be added as a part of your image. Everything is peach flash, open SSH. Everything is a part of uh, your R depends now. So that uh, you have to automatically handles in handles it and it will add it. As these things are mentioned in R depends, it will be part of your root FS. So that is uh, the difference between these two images. So uh, for development purposes and all, it's better to build a full command line image than the minimal. That you can uh, you can edit or create a source file and uh, compile that as well.